All right, here's the question of the day. Is foxglove poisonous to touch? <gasps> this is a good question. It's an important question. Obviously, if you're going to be harvesting something, you kind of need to know that. So this is a beautiful flower. It's famous for attracting fairies into your gardens. You've probably seen it in countless garden photographs because it's so gorgeous. It grows big velvety leaves and these tall stalks and these bell-like flowers that come off of it. Um, and if you're curious about that botanical name, Digitalis purpurea, that Digitalis is a big clue. It is indeed the source for the cardioglycosides that are used to make Digitalis medicine, the pharmaceutical drug that's used to kind of help boost the heart rate up. So potent, potent plant here and used incorrectly, it can be toxic, too much taken as a medicine and you're gonna be having nausea, seizures, big time. You know, you don't mess around with heartbeat. <laughs> this is one of those you want to respect. And those big velvety leaves that I described, those little hairs, they can give some people a nasty rash. Some people are really vulnerable to that, and it can last two to three weeks, which is unpleasant. So this is definitely one you want to be wearing gloves with when you're harvesting it, if you're going to take those blossoms in, or if you're going to be using it as a medicine. Bees, hummingbirds love it, pollinators love it, uh, but your pets and your people, you don't want to be getting that rash and you definitely don't want to be eating it randomly. Animals kind of know this, they tend to stay away from it. Um, but you need to know because there's always the one that might be, <laughs> that be your muncher that uh, could get itself in trouble. So there you go, foxglove. Brings in the fairies, important medicine, an exquisite plant to know about but one to be respectful. So make good use of this medicine and don't be cocky or silly about it.